one click is all it takes to lose everything. We are in a cyber war. You can either be a defendant or you could be a victim. Does 100% security exist? I know a lot of security professionals say no matter what you do, no matter what you put in place, you cannot have 100% security. I tell you, that hit me a couple of weeks ago when I was giving a keynote, and I said, is that really true? Can you achieve 100% security? And what I realized, you absolutely can. If I take my cell phone and I smash it to pieces, I just made it 100% secure. But what's the problem? When I have 100% security, I have zero functionality. If we go in and make something 100% secure, it has zero value to us. Now here's the cool part. What that means then is we have 100% security and zero functionality. Every time I add functionality, I'm reducing the security. Anytime you add any advancement or functionality, you're reducing your overall security, which means instead of going in and looking at just the benefit, ask yourself a second question. What is the downside? What is the security risk by doing this? If you want to make the right decisions in cyberspace, it's easy. What is the benefit or functionality I gain? What is the security risk or downside? And can I live with that security risk? If we recognize that every single time we put a new app on our phone and add functionality, we're reducing security. Anytime we add a new electronic device to our home, we're reducing the security. And we look at what that security risk is and openly accept it. That's how we win in cyberspace. I personally go in and I have Amazon home delivery. That basically means that the delivery folks can go in, open up my front door, put the package inside and leave. Now I know, I'm so, I know some folks when they hear that, they go, Eric, are you crazy? Well, I might be crazy, but that's a different discussion. But what I look at is this. I travel a lot and I live in an area where it's a very busy street. So I've had cases where packages were delivered and disappeared. I've also had cases where packages were delivered, left out in the rain, and basically got soggy and destroyed, the belongings. So I basically said, okay, what is the risk of having in-house delivery? Do you realize every time they go to deliver a package, it's a new code? I get a notification, and there's a camera that's pointing out the door that shows exactly what they did. Now, yes, could they open the door and run inside. They could, but the delivery service would see that the door has not been locked, and I would watch on the camera and see what they did. So we could easily call the police, we have evidence, and it would basically be an ineffective crime because they would be caught instantly. So yes, there is a little bit of risk of letting somebody come in my house, but the benefit I get of my packages not being destroyed and my packages not being stolen is a risk that I'm willing to accept. That's how you have to deal with security. Understand the benefit, understand the risk, openly accept the risk, and if you do that, I really don't care what you do. What I want to avoid is the person that looks at this great technology, looks at the functionality, and thinks there's zero risk. Then, when their family gets put in harm's way, they go, I wish somebody told me. So I'm telling you, anything with the computer can be hacked, Anytime you add functionality, you're reducing security. Always weigh the pros and cons, and that's how we can be safe in cyberspace.